Start again. Just Start to show the again. finish. Yes. Okay. Second part of the finishing the the cap. I hit the the down volume button. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. So all right. So what we're going to do now is that we have gotten the cap to this point. Okay. And we're we've got the crown is stitched on. We've top stitched it here. We've got the elastic in the back of the scrub cap. Oop. A little bit of threads. Whenever you come across threads, just go ahead and pick up those snippers or scissors and just get rid of them. You won't remember later. Just take the time to do it then. So there's the, the elastic area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to finish this up. I got my, my ribbons. Um, I, I'm ultimately going to be using twill tape, three quarter inch twill tape, and um, and I'm just waiting for it to arrive, so I decided to use some grow grain ribbon, which I did use on a couple caps, and people seem to think it was fine. Um, doesn't match the best right now, but this is just a demonstration. So I'm going to open this this up, this hem at the bottom. See, we've already pre-pressed that hem, and um, we're going to do this back opening hem. And I've got the needle set, so it's over to the left, so I can just have this toe hang off of the hem and the rest of the foot be to the right. And I'm going to go to that seam there and just a little back stitch. And then I've sewn that hem on the opening down. I'm going to skip the gathered area and I'm going to go over here, a little back stitch, and I will go like this. Now don't pull real hard on this area because it's biased. You might end up with some twisty looking uh, um, fabric if you pull on it too hard. Uh, bias means it's not on the thread line this way or this way. This actually has a little give to it, so we don't want to pull on that too hard. So now we are going to do the bottom hem and insert the, the ties. And that'll be the end of this project, okay? So what we'll do is that I cut one end at a diagonal. I want that end to be the one that will be tied. And I want to put this end in to the hem here. So I'm going to fold up this hem like this and oops, little threads okay, and I'm going to tuck this right in here like this. I'm going to overlap maybe about an inch at the narrow part an inch and a half here and just put that right in there. Okay like that. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and stitch a little triangle here. And then I'm going to stitch all the way around the hem and insert the other strap when I'm done. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go, let's see how I should do this. Um, I guess I'll go this way. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start here. And go down this slant. That'll definitely hold the ribbon in place. Okay, now I can go like this. And I'll go up this way and now I'm going to go and turn it one more time with the needle in. Needle holds my place so you always want that needle to stop down when you're going to turn. Okay, Now here's the thing, I've ironed this hem, I haven't pinned it, but you can get away with not pinning it if you did a really good job ironing it evenly. If you pinch and tip like this and you just hold it taut, you can steer it and keep the layers from from slipping. Again, I have the toe hanging off the hem and the rest of the foot on the hem because there's that ridge in underneath the foot you can drop it off. So yeah, that's kind of noisy, isn't it? But then once I get there, I stop. The needle stops down. I rotate this because it's in a curve. It's in kind of a circle. And I'll just go ahead and do this bit. Now I'll rotate it again, holding it taut so I can steer it and keep the layers from shifting. If you want to pin it, though, please go ahead. Use as many um, tools as you need to to get the result, because the result is the important thing. Not, oh, I can do this, but then you get something that is less than what we want. Okay, now I'm getting really close to that end. I'm going to stop with the needle in. Now I want the end that has the diagonal sticking out, so I'm so I'm going to put the blunt end in to the this right here. You can open that up and tuck it in. I know, can you see that? It's tucked in there and I kind of wrap the end around it, keeping this going straight with this. I'm going to go here and I'm going to sew all the way down here and I'm going to shift over and sew right along the edge of that ribbon and stop with the needle down. Now I'll go down this way. One, whoop, now I went a, one too far. 
Let me just lift that up, put the needle down. I'm going to turn, and I'm going to go up. So it makes a triangle here at the very end. Go back stitch. And so it's really nice. It's like a reinforcement stitch, this triangle. So it's held here, here, and here. So that's going to stay. Now I can go to this side and cut that little bit of thread there. And the cap is done and ready to go. So you see, this is nice and long to do to tie a knot and a bow, you know. And um, and it grow grain holds nicely, so it should hold a knot really nicely. So you could use grow grain ribbon. This is five eighths of an inch. I'd recommend that you do five eighths inch. I did order a bunch of three quarter inch twill tape. Um, and that's what I'll be using in, in the caps that we're making, but it's not here yet. So there's the bow. And then what's, this seems like a kind of big cap, but for women who have long hair, it really helps to be able to have this go over their hair and tuck their hair up, whether it's in a bun or a ponytail or something like that. And so it works really well for that. I might be making a different size for men, but this is the first one that I'm working on right now and I have a cutting die and all that stuff. So anyway, so that is the cap. Um, and that is all done.